welcome along. How are we all on this fine Wednesday evening? I hope you all had a good start to the week. I um, hope you all enjoyed the uh, SnowRunner stream we did last night. Uh, lots more SnowRunner content coming over on my YouTube channel, so make sure that you're following over there. Um, as you can see, it is youtube.com forward slash virtual farmer um up there um for those of you who don't know welcome along anyway i hope you as i said hope you all had a good week so far uh it is wednesday that means we are back on the single player realism experiment on greenwich valley um uh which i'm eager to get kicking into first though let's say hello to everyone in chat so fabio concrete welcome along farmboy yt and oliver farrant welcome along et agriculture yt welcome along uh, Cam CCW, welcome along. Rabbit Bugs, uh, Rabbit Bugs, welcome along. TB Games, welcome along. Daniel Kinsberg, welcome along. Mark the Fox, welcome along. Twin Cam Gaming's raiding with a party of five. Twin Cam, you are awesome. Thank you very, very much. Um, I don't have a shout out set up for you, so I will get you a shout out quickly. Go check out Twin Cam, massive supporter of this channel. And, uh, yeah, go check him out. There we go. Um, so welcome along, Raiders. Uh, if you would, uh, please, head over onto that link there. And uh, and uh, and that way you will count. Welcome, Terrier. I hope you're, uh, hope you're well as well. Go check out Terrier. He's awesome. And Martin ML Gamer, thank you for subscribing. You've been subscribed for 10 months on a 10-month streak. That's amazing. Thank you very, very much, Martin. Uh, I'm going to give you and Terrier a shout out. So go check out Terrier, as I said. Uh, he is awesome. And go and check out Martin as well. Both of them are fantastic uh, streamers here on Twitch. So just go check them out. Pops Gaming Time, welcome along. Um, who else snuck in there? Gaming M17, welcome along. Um, and I think that's everybody. My pleasure, Terrier. I enjoy your streams. They're brilliant. Uh, Jack Morgan 1, welcome along. New no problem at all, Martin. My pleasure. Let's head over to the live screen. Welcome along, Fluky Stew, as well, by the way. Uh, yeah, let's get a raffle running. 47 in here at the moment, according to my uh, commands. So, uh, yeah, I might move the shout outs into a sub screen of this. That might work better. Right, so it is second day of spring. The ground has unfrozen. We can do stuff. So we've got to see what stuff we've got to do. Um, might be a good time to get spring crops in. Uh, depends on... Oh, hang on. Before we start, up the time to five times and actually follow the rules, VF. And, uh, and yeah, so we have three fields that are completely unworked. Um, two of them need plowing, so we need to get those plowed. Uh, 79 needs cultivating. So we're going to be busy today. Um, and 78 and 87 need uh, doing. Now, I can't remember what I had in what. So we had sunflowers in 79, beet in 89, and, uh, and that in 88. Okay. So uh, we're looking in our rotation of having, after sunflowers, we're looking at barley. So we're going to get the spring barley in. So we need to get that done. Um, after sugar beet, we've got sunflowers. So we want to get those in as early as possible. And after corn, we've got sugar beets. So that can go in slightly later. In fact, I think it wants to go in slightly later looking at this. Uh, yeah, we want to get the sunflowers in today. It's a little bit cold, but their seeding time is next. Uh, definitely want to be getting the barley in as a priority today, though. So barley and sunflowers in today. Uh, sugar beet can go in at the moment as well, but considering their ability to do stuff later, that's fine. Corn, we're going to try and get in on day four. So, uh, yeah, barley in first today, and that is going where the sunflowers were. So that is our first job. So we're probably going to get both our tractors working today, I think. Deathila, 8934, welcome along. Corfair, welcome along. <coughs> I think we have both a subsoiler and a, uh, yes, so we've got a cultivator there. Where did we put our subsoiler is over here. Okay, so we'll probably need a slightly bigger piece of equipment for that. 
What are our power requirements? So the Sapphire, that takes 140 horsepower and the Dondi takes 130. We have 160 and 100, so, oh, right. Okay, we're gonna be using the 8340 a bit to begin with. Uh, and we need to get, so what was this field last? This field was, previous was cereal. So I think this was, this was our field of barley last time, wasn't it? Because wheat will follow after, yeah, because I'm not sure what I have. Yeah, I had canola in 87 and, uh, oh no, I think I had the, I'm not sure what I had in here last time. I think I had barley in here. Uh, so after the barley should be canola, that's right. Uh, and then after, so we need to get this, okay, that's, we'll get the canola and the barley done today, um, and, uh, and then, yeah, after sunflowers, did we have sunflowers in two fields? That can't be right. I think sunflowers were that in that other field for the first year. Mr. So, what did I do? Um, I basically did a first bit, um, the, uh, we were going to do some multiplayer, Right, what I want to do, I can't remember what I had in my fields for cereal to be in there. So what did we have in this field last, then? Cereal as well. One of these. Oh. Ooh, FarmSim19 is free on PS4. I can't remember which way around these fields were. I'm going to have to go back and check. I think it says cereal in here and cereal in there. We don't want to get these the wrong way around. So we need to check this first. Let's give our let's give our pigs some water. While I just pop over to YouTube and check what we had in these two fields. So because we don't want to get this wrong. That is the wrong get wrong computer. Over to there. Where you gone? There you go. Oh, when we're streaming, this is not great. You should get a New Holland TT. I'd love to. We do not have the money for that. With the money we have at the moment, we are saving. Uh, to be honest. So, uh, YT Studio. And we want to head over and find videos live and have a look. Because I don't know what we did. What did we do? If anybody knows what, what these two fields were, that would be helpful. I have no way of telling at the moment. Unless I can find the harvest streams. Yeah, those are all autumn winter stuff. And oh, no, that's ah now that is that is seeding. So no, not that one. This is this is this is when seasons is a real pain. Because trying to plan things is difficult. I'm good, thank you. I should have a picture of combine harvesters. Here we go. So that should tell me what I had in what field. So let me have a look at this. This is the advantage, actually, of having YouTube. What is... Oh, no, those are weeds. I need to cancel the thing of this. Hey, Tim Woodhouse, welcome along. Let's have a raffle while I'm working this out. It's always good. It's always good to know what you've done. Dark Star Simulation, thank you for the host. You are awesome. Can I kill that? Can I mute this tree? Yep. Let's see if this tells me what was in which field. Because that would be 
Ah, we took bale. Ah, no, 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 I know how I can tell. We took bales off this field. We took bales oh. off this field, so this has to have been the barley. This has to have been the barley, or was this the wheat? It's a good possibility this was the wheat, even. Because that's important. It was the wheat. Thank you, Gaming M17. It was the wheat we had in here. So, as this was wheat, and we had canola in the other field. Uh, thank you for the host, Run Simulation, and Martin ML Gamer. You are both awesome. Did it get a notification? That's weird. Uh, so, corn into this field. Okay, so we don't want to be doing this field today. And after the canola in here then. Yeah, and that means it was canola in there based on this. Uh, that means... No, no, it was canola in there. It was barley in there. So that's it. Yeah, we had bales off both of these fields. Uh, Terrier, thank you for the host. Tim Woodhouse, thank you for the host. And Indigenous Navi, thank you for the host. So, ah, oh, that's finally got it. So, this was barley. This being barley, which is what's throwing me. This field here needs to be canola. So we want to get our tractor immediately doing this. So we might take the 7840 and do this field. Uh, we need to get the spade out. We also need, wow, we three quarters of an hour into the day before I've worked this out. Um, and then we need ourselves. Uh, we need to get the plow or the cultivator or the plow going on the other fields. Depending on which one is more important. I think we want to get the barley in today. So as that's more important, we need to get the 8340 on the cultivator. To so play MP Star on a PC, you to remove all your friends from Epic Games, then re-add them, then restart Epic Games. All people you want to play with need to do this as well. Oliver, that's ridiculous. That is utterly... I, don't, I only have one friend. I, I have no friends, actually, other than one. GT Farming added me last night. So if you want to add me as a friend on Epic Games, please do. Um, but yeah, so you have to remove all your friends, re-add all your friends. What happens if you have a lot of friends? Any more kicking about? Nope. Okay, that's cleaned that up. Oh, looks like we've got a full thing of that as well. Whoa. Oh, no. Push it in. Push it in. Send it flying. Uh, Life's Entertainment, thank you for the host. Yeah, Raptor was saying it. I'm glad it's... Oh, yeah. I don't, I, 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 I stand by what I've said the whole way along. I do not like Epic Games. I do not like the Epic Games store at all. Um, I am hugely, I'm still, even though I, I, had I not been given the game on PC and, uh, and, and had to install the Epic Game, uh, game store to play it, I would not have bought it on Epic Games. I absolutely would not. And if I, and if, the game itself is absolutely fantastic. Epic Store is absolutely... Excuse my language. Crap. It is a big pile of steaming cow manure. And... and Why games companies feel the need to ruin the release of their game by making Epic exclusive, I don't know. Sorry, ranty. I'm being ranty. It's it's massively anti-consumer. Last comment. What do animals do on this map? Uh, in my case, I have uh, the, uh, the pigs on this map and the chicken, and I have added a chicken coop. Uh, which tractor did I get? Yeah, the ATP forty. That's the one. Oh yeah, I forgot I got that on here. I don't need to actually. Oh, do I have the reverse? 
No, I've turned the reverse off. We tried to use Epic Games, but I hope. I, 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 I will put it this way. I won't buy games on Epic. I might download stuff for free. I'm never going to buy stuff on Epic. Yeah, and it's, in my opinion, in my opinion, it's massively, massively anti-consumer, what Epic Games are doing. It doesn't, it doesn't help you or I. It helps the developers, and it, and, and, yes, I can see them doing that for the reason, but it, it just gives developers a bad thing. Got Smith's side, Dale said, oh, nice. Yeah, I've got to do that, yeah. Right, so we're going to set this on course play. Um, this is... I don't think this needs ploughing. No, 79 doesn't need ploughing. It just needs cultivating. So, we'll set this to finish here. June CF, thank you for subscribing with Twitch Prime. You have been subscribed for 10 months. Uh, and you are awesome. Um, are pigs a good profit? Yes. Pigs are. Pigs have been basically keeping our farm afloat the whole time we've been doing this. Uh, so, course generation, field 78. Uh, starting direction, automatic. Uh, headlands, we've got a six meter cultivator on, so two headlands. We want to do it clockwise because we want to end up back here. We're working on the up downs first. We want to turn in the corners uh, to generate the inputs. Okay, that's a, that's a good enough course. Seems to be the long way around the field, so that's good news. Now, something I want to test is how good this um, this new uh, vehicle mod, or this new shuttle is. I'm going to put this into reverse when I kick this off, and, uh, and we'll see what happens. So, into reverse. First waypoint, drive through. It's completely disabled it. And it's going in the right direction. Already I love this mod. No more am I going to be doing that. Uh, let's just see our course. Yeah, we are doing two headlands. It's going slowly in. So that is good. Let's close that. Jump out. Let that get going. Uh, and we're going to go and do this. I just got a shout out on Simulator Radio. Simulator Radio are awesome. <laughs> I wish I could play them in here. Can I speak Afrikaans? I can't uh, fibro concrete. I have friends who ha uh, who can. Um, but that's awesome. Thank you, Simulator Radio. You guys are fantastic. Um, go check them out. Uh, you can see. Well, I've got them on my screen over there. Um, well, I've got them on my screen over there on Twitch. Uh, 85, oh, 85 viewers. Yes, we got to kick off a giveaway. Giveaway time. One giveaway kicking off. Away we go. Get your tickets. Here's a raffle to kick you off with some groats. And I am going to jump into the 7840 so that we can go and get the cedar. Which is round the other side, I think. We're nicely in the money at the moment. We've got 97,000. I think we've got to sell some pigs today. We'll probably be doing that later. Yeah, there's my cedar. Right, and what we want to put in... As I said, we need to get the spring barley seeded today. So let's reverse this up. Grab our D. There's only a three meter one. Could probably upgrade to the D9. We've got wheat in it. We want to put barley in. Uh, do we have any seeds? Where is our seed storage? I'm trying to remember. Oh, I did the seed storage. Whether we have any seeds, actually. Thank you for the follow, King Z214. Bell ill. Uh, right now, but. Uh, ooh. Hope you feel better. Yeah, we've got some seeds in here. So we'll see if we can get this somewhere near our seed pallet to fill it up. Okay, fill it up. Okay. 
Yes. Oh, not quite. Oh, no further. No, we're not close enough to the other one, so we might have to get that seed pallet out of the way. Which means dropping off our seed up. Close it up. Drop it down. Attach hoses, attach that. Move our. Someone playing chicken dance, please. Don't actually need to connect all of that up. Just need to get this. I think we'll take this over here. There we go. I'm going to stop trying to fight the automatic turning. Right, let's put this over here. It's not exactly great for what I want to do, but it will do the job. Close this up. Reverse. Not perfect. What is the giveaway? Something from the mystery box, uh, King214. Uh, that can be DLCs to Farming Simulator. It can be, um, it can be, uh, I think we've got a mouse pad left. Um, we've got FS17 special discs. Um, all sorts of things like that. Gaming M, I missed your last comment. Hey, Stocker Claws, welcome along. Thank you for the 100 bit cheer, sir. You are awesome. Go check out Stocker Claws. He is a fantastic streamer and YouTuber. Uh, there we go. There's his button. Not a shed. <laughs> I'm glad you. Oh, man. There we go. Let's. Connect that up, connect that up, open it up. And then we should be able to reverse this far enough into here. So, reload it. Oh, the Fisher J, you got me. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm hoping this is enough. Oh, not a What's my FPS like? Uh, currently running at 37, but that tends to happen in the yard. Uh, so, Barley. Barley, I said, is going in after the sunflowers, didn't I? Yeah, Barley is going in after the sunflowers, which is what we're currently cultivating. Uh... We can put the canola in at this point, actually, which goes in after the barley. <laughs> Thank you, Fisher J, for playing the air horn. You are awesome. <laughs> I saw that just as it was about to come up. Uh, right, we're going to use. We're going to do this. Uh, we're putting barley in on. No, we're not. We're putting canola in on here, which is a smaller seed, actually, so that's good. Mike, Michael Horning Hurling, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the VFN. How do you enter the raffle? Exclamation mark, enter, and the number of tickets that you want. Uh, maximum of 10, you need 500 groats per ticket. Hopefully, we should be alright with the amount we've got here. Canola and barley both go in at this point, so I want to get both these in here. We want to get the corn in really early. Doesn't matter too much as we're planning to um, uh, as we're planning to to do the uh, whole cropping of it this year on purpose for once. Um, but. 
the earlier we can get all of our crops in, the better, really. Especially as the temperature is warming up. And so we want to catch it as soon as the temperature warms up. We want this stuff to germinate. So it is, we are putting in this in colder than it suggests. But that is the germination temperature. So we get it in today and it works. Uh, what are the best pigs to do, thorough to or thorough to finish? I like doing thorough to finish. Um, I like starting, uh, sorry, I like doing, uh, yeah, feeder to finish as a quick way of getting money in on the pigs on the seasons. And then um, doing uh, thorough to finish for the rest of my time. Because you get you get that initial jump start, and then you're then you're better off. Uh, you can always do fire to feed it if you're a little bit stuck for money. We have d I have done fire to feed it before. Okay, this is going down too fast. That's okay. uh, when will the next Shamrock Valley episode be? Always on a always on a Saturday, normally. Um, but I think we might switch things this week. So, uh, Shamrock Valley, I'm thinking of moving to a Wednesday. Um, as a result, this week I might move, um, yeah, I'm thinking of moving it to a Wednesday. Cutting down on one episode of, um, Charwell. So, reducing Charwell to two episodes. Cutting, uh, moving, uh, the that role play to a, uh, a Wednesday. Doing uh, Snow Runner Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and uh, and then uh, yeah, Charwell on a Monday and a Friday, and uh, and then Rowers Diary on a Sunday. I think might be my new schedule next week. I wanna, I do wanna play a whole load of Snow Runner, and I think that uh, and I think that that would be a great way to go and to introduce something a little bit different over on the YouTube channel as well uh, and it's a game I love at the moment so uh, yeah have I played any SnowRunner today yes I recorded tomorrow's video of SnowRunner this morning so uh, yes I have played SnowRunner today um, I uh, I will probably play I might play some SnowRunner tomorrow if I can um, and get a video done for Saturday but I think that's I think that's the way I'm going to go, certainly, for now. And there's going to be a whole load of uh, SnowRunner content coming from me. It is very fast seen. Uh, that is the speed that the seeker is allowed to go at, apparently. Marwell is a fantastic map. I've done two series on that map and absolutely loved it both times. Both times I've done that map, I've absolutely loved doing it. We are not getting through C very quickly, so that's good. Fisher J, thank you for playing the chicken dance. <laughs> you did choose your moments, GD. Welcome along, Game of Dragon. You are awesome. Go check out GD. He is fantastic. Um, how you doing, my friend? You came in at a fantastic time, Sarah. And we have hit 100 viewers as well. Which is even better. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody watching the stream. Uh, it means the absolute world to me that you're in here. Uh, we are still on our partner push. We are still waiting for a response from uh, Twitch. It's been a couple of weeks. Best map to start from scratch. This one. This map here. Best map to start from scratch. Um, it is the fields are perfect price. Uh, and everything, and uh, yeah, best map to start from scratch. I'm good, thank you, uh, GD. Uh, the one thing, the one issue you do have, and I always recommend this on most modern maps, the only maps I've seen that have been 
really good to start from scratch are the basement. I would suggest any other map you want to start from scratch, uh, you, you virtualize your start from scratch. And what I mean by that is, start on New Farmer and edit it so it's then a start from scratch. Because what you find is if you do it the other way, you miss, you're missing bits of buildings you can't place and you can't change. So, uh, yeah, unless you ignore all the farms on the map and build your own farm. That is the other way to do it if you're on a modern map. Just find a field that would be a good place to build a farm and build a brand new farm there. Um, because, yeah, the base farms are missing troughs for pigs and things like that. And, yeah, you, you kind of need to build a brand new farm somewhere on the map. Don't wait for Sandy Bay PS4. I can't wait for version 1.1 of Sandy Bay. It's going to be a pain because we're going to have to convert the realism experiment that we're doing on here over to it. Um, and I may try and do that as a video or something like that uh, to show how to do it. But I've got to work out how to do it first. Uh, let's have a wrap, shall we? Um, but yeah. Sick of waiting for Sandy Bay. It'll come, farm boy. It'll come. I'm warm. How can you get your uh, Logitech G29 to work? I have a video on that very subject over on my um, YouTube channel. Uh, King Z uh, uh, 214. Pop over to youtube.com forward slash virtual farmer. And on there you will find, uh, on my homepage, uh, you will find a list um, of how to videos. I think it's the second one in it. Uh, I have not yet been to uh, Alaska in SnowRunner, Oliver. Um, I think if I stream it on here again, um, I may actually pop over there and do it. And uh, I actually want to speak to the guys who I do the realism experiment with over here, because I'd quite like to do some more SnowRunner streams. But obviously, the only stream I could replace for that is, uh, is one of the realism experiment multiplayers. But I don't want to um, leave everybody who's doing that with me um, you know, not wanting, you know, in the lurch or anything, so. I need to speak to people. Because I can't stream another night, unfortunately. I'd love to. Did I do much? I got stuck a lot. I played a lot in the dark. And that's actually, that's the advantage of doing videos versus, um, uh, <laughs> videos versus live streams. Uh, so in the YouTube videos that I've been doing, they've all taken place in the daylight because about 30 minutes in the game is the daytime. So I can uh, I can go and do a 30 minute uh, video from dusk, uh, dawn till dusk, and uh, and yeah, be good. Big dog one, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the BFN. So yeah. Just get the number. Well, I could, Oliver, but then that's half the fun in, in Snowrunner and Mudrunner uh, when you're playing for a longer period of time is getting lost in the dark. Can't wait to see me play Snowrunner. Snowrunner video coming out tomorrow, Jack, on the YouTube channel. Um, there is the first video, the first look at it, where we start on the map. That is already up there if you want to check that out. Um, also, yesterday's stream will be up on... Um, uh, will be up on... Uh, YouTube tomorrow morning. It covers some of what we covered in the first two episodes as well. So, uh, yeah, Terry, it is absolutely brilliant. I eventually plan to get it on PS4 as well um, because I want to do some mod stuff on PS4 for it. Have I ever thought of adding Realism Vehicles mod to my Realism Experiment series? Um, I need to check it out. Last time I saw that mod, it was over the top realism. It wasn't. It wasn't actually that realistic uh, in the end. So uh, yeah, that's why I didn't use it before. Well, I've not used it before. I want to make sure I'm leaving about the same amount of effort. Because it's nothing worse than having to do that little bit of extra headroom where you misjudge. Uh, what's my favourite map of all time in Farm Sim, Big Dog? Uh, all time in Farm Sim is Cobble Park Farm. I love it. Um, I miss it in FS19. Um, on uh, on here, I've got several maps I love, but I love them all for different reasons. 
The low bit of drop news is we need 150 horsepower. I don't think this needs 150 horsepower. Because we've only got 100 horsepower on our tractor. Uh, this drill, no, this drill needs 85. Yes, uh, uh, yeah, you can game chef on it, I think. I've seen people doing PS4 stuff on, um, on there, so I would think you must be able to. Wood bullet? No. Uh, bullet, but, well, unless it was Oxygen Davis. Oxygen, but, but to be perfectly honest, massively close to Bullet Bill's heart at Cobble Park Farm. I don't think he'd let anybody convert it. What farm is this? This is Greenwich Valley. Um, I am at the pig farm. Um, I removed... So I had, this is a slightly edited version of this map. There was an electric fence in this field I've removed. I've also made holes in the fences down there so that I can put gateways in and, uh, and do that. There's a big bump in the middle of the field. The Fisher J, thank you for the 300 bit shit. You are awesome. Can I get this in that hole? Yes. Yeah, there's a big bump in the middle of the field. There. I would smooth that out if that wasn't going to lose me crop. It's hard to replow that. I don't want a tractor capable of doing that at the moment. I think we must have cultivated this with um, uh, with course play of this. Uh, FS is on hold, the SnowRunner is too good. SnowRunner is absolutely brilliant, which is why I want to play more of it. Um, my channel will always be, well, uh, certainly at the moment will be mainly FS, but I want to do more SnowRunner. Uh, because it is, yeah, it is great. And it's, it's kind of, uh, with the YouTube channel, it's it's been that thing I've been looking for. I've been looking for a new map to play. And actually, what I really need is to, to play another game on the channel for a while. And SnowRunner at the moment is absolutely presenting that opportunity. So uh, I'm going to take it. Uh, do I do cotton on my farms? Not on here. Uh, being realism experiment, we're not playing. Uh, it's an English map. Uh, we're not doing cotton on the English map. That would be wholly, wholly unrealistic. So, uh, yeah. Not going there with that. Right. Uh, do you know what happens if you, cry, if you plant it? Plant corner 8 degrees C. Right, we are at 2 degrees C. Um, and we're planting canola. It just won't germinate is basically what it comes down to. It won't germinate until the temperature rises, so you'll be fine. You have 150 hours on FS and you've never done cotton. Wow, Oliver, I have done cotton. We've done cotton on the American maps that we've done. No problem, uh, okay. Or Connor, I'll go with there, actually. Uh, so yeah, I plant I plant when it's too cold all the time. Um, the reason for that is because I want it to germinate as soon as it comes. You ain't getting on no plane for. Oh yeah, the cotton on Stone Valley, that was ridiculous. That was that was a proper case of biting off more than we could chew. So I normally find if we take the tip of the tractor out to the edge of the field like that, that gives us enough space to turn around. And it should mean it only takes about two rows to uh, finish this off. Look at how far our um, 
cultivator is. That's very good news. We want to put barley in that field today. Very, very good news. You're doing pigs on this map. Do I have any advice? Um, are you doing them in seasons or are you just doing them normally? Uh, if you're doing them in seasons, sell at about six months old uh, and about uh, as close to six months old and 180 pounds as you can. That way you will make the most money. Darkstar Simulation, thank you for the 100 bits. You are awesome. What we're probably going to do, once we've got these seeded, is the field that we're going to be putting the corn in, which is the sugar beet field. We want to get that spread with the manure. Uh, we also probably want to get... Then we already... We might have already put liquid uh, digestate on the corn field, but we'll try that as well. I think we want to swap out the abbey that we've got here. I think I need to do that. Uh, is Sandy Bay tomorrow? No idea. Whenever Giants pass it is when we'll see Sandy Bay. For every in-game day do my pigs go up running nine day seasons. You can tell how old your pigs are two ways. Uh, one in here you can see they go to the pig farm. Uh, you can see in here it tells you 0.0. .0. So I've got some newborns. We look at the ones that are more like 200. So here we go, 245 pounds, 0.5 years. So that there is worth a little bit. Uh, we've got nothing actually that is worth that much money at the moment. So yeah, you can tell in here, you can also tell on the uh, selling screen. Multiplayer tomorrow, yes, multiplayer on Sand Bay tomorrow. 9.12, it's, it is getting a little bit late. We go till um, about half past 10 um, or 11 o'clock, uh, depending on when we're getting jobs finished. Uh, we're, we're doing pretty well at the moment. If we can get the barley and the canola in today, that is a great start. That means we have the wheat, the barley and the canola in. Um, sunflowers we can get in today if we want. That uh, would be good. Uh, but we've got a lot of work to do before we can get the sunflowers in. Have you heard Sandy Bay? For, I'm not sure what you're trying to sell there, say there, Eugene. That looks like something I would type. <laughs> uh, what's better, a skid loader or a front loader? What are you trying to do, the Fisher Jay? I find the skid, uh, the skid steer great if you are trying to maneuver in small spaces or if you're just doing something like pigs. Uh, for example, check out Charwell. Uh, if you've got limited funds uh, and you've got more space to maneuver, front loader is great. Um, yeah, de depends on what you're trying to do, to be honest. Because right now on this farm, we could probably get away with getting rid of our front loader, um, our front loader machine, and replacing it with another tractor. If we wanted. Okay, I think we need to get a screenshot. Oh, that, that. Coming down towards the farm. There we go. Get back on track. Take off. I need to really assign that a button. I could do that fairly easily. Is it hard to edit a map like this? Not the edits I've done, no. How long have we got left on the giveaway? Another 35, 36 ish minutes. Uh, 
Rowan has found the ability to edit the, edit the icons. Actually, with the VF logo backwards, you can kind of see what it's meant to be a little bit more. For anybody who, who, who doesn't realise, the, the original VF logo, the first VF logo was two stalks of wheat. Actually, three stalks of wheat. Uh, and so it's actually a really, really stylized version of that, uh, is what the VF logo is meant to be. And backwards, you can see that more than you can see it front ways. works in many ways. Yeah, someday I will show you guys the original VF logo. I might even make it an icon one day. That would be cool. I don't think it ever made it out of the planning stages on the channel. I think I'd always come up with the... Because um, this is the fourth version of the VF logo that I'm currently, I'm currently using. Uh, which I've now got on everything. Uh, it is... That's awesome, Rowan. Um, it is, uh, as you can tell, very, very stylized. And, uh, and yeah. It's developed a long way since the early days. Let's have another raffle. Keep things going. Which means we should get the barley in now today. Just reverse back up this headland to get the second one. And we're going to have to do something similar on uh, on this bit around the edge. We don't want to end up in this corner. Tell me something about which way I should do this in future. Fear Gaming 5678, thank you for the host. You are awesome. What's a good farm to start off with on Greenwich Valley? I'm trying to do realistic. You're doing seasons and you're on console. Um, are you starting on new farmer? 
and, uh, and editing it down, or are you starting on start from scratch? If you're starting start from scratch on console, I would probably, and looking to do animals, I would probably recommend building your own farm completely from scratch somewhere on the map rather than using one of the existing farms. All the farms pretty much leave something that you can't remove. Um, failing that, I'd start at the main farm. I very much liked this farm, but then I edited the heck out of it. I, I made some edits to make it work for me here on PC. So, yeah. It's really depending on what you're looking to do, I think. That is how you do a difficult corner like that. Then it gets really tricky once you're in the corner of those. Ideally, we want to finish down the other end. So uh, we're going to close this gate because we're going to need to. And we're then going to head back here and do this from the other side. the AT340 there, oh, it must have gone, it must have been the turn to first point turned on. Oh, right. That's a pain. ahead. Please do the chicken dance. <laughs> Hello, uh, less, lesson, lesson fan. Welcome along. Uh, Bia von Connor, none of the fields get planted and the AI is glitched. Really? Wow. Can't wait to drive your TX36 tomorrow. Uh, yeah, TS Thirty Six. I'm looking forward to that road. We'll, uh, we'll get that taxed tomorrow. Get those fields all cut. Right, we have seed left. That's good news. Right, stop this tractor though. Ah, yeah. We just need to go and clean up the corners on this. I think. Let's have a look at how well this is done. Actually, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. Right, uh, stop driver. Start the engine. Uh, clear that off. Crossplay and uh, we need to get this doing the subsoiling now. Uh, Pops Gaming Time, thank you for uh, hosting. You are awesome. Uh, am I combining tomorrow? I think, yeah, Rowan and I are combining tomorrow, but it's going to be a massively busy stream. It's likely to be a three hour stream. I'm half tempted to start it at 8 pm because I know how busy it's going to be. Um, but basically, uh, we've got rain on the way, so I've got to cut my alfalfa, ted it, uh, 
let it dry, row it, bale it, and collect the bales in one stream tomorrow. On top of that, we've even got we've also got to harvest my field, harvest Rowan's fields, um, and uh, and yeah, it's just going to be a crazy, crazy, crazy stream. Oh, and we've got to bale the straw off his and my fields and collect it up as well. Obviously, he can collect the bale and collect the straw off his. I can bale collect the straw off mine, but it still means that I've got a lot of bales to do uh, next stream. To the point where I'm actually considering hiring an automatic stacker uh, just to, to get things up quickly. Right, reverse this up. Oh, and we need to connect to that as well. And this is going to take a little bit longer to do this job. Thank you for following Carson Duracell. Welcome to the BFN. What is my favourite mod for FS19 so far? Seasons. Favourite mod for FS19 so far without a hands down seasons. Uh, do you know any good cow sheds that will produce slurry and manure on console? Um, I don't, Irish Farmer. I would have thought all of them would, unless you're using Seasons. Uh, right, we need... So, which field do we need to do? So, after the sunflowers is the barley. After the sugar beet is the sunflowers. And after the corn is the sugar beet. We don't want to do this. Uh, sunflowers. No, we don't want to do this. Simon20, thank you for subscribing with Twitch Prime. You are awesome. No, I don't want this on the back of here. I want to set off this doing barley. So let's switch this over. On this field, because barley is after sunflowers. I want to make sure we're not returning to first waypoint. Right, so, course uh, generation 79, automatic. Uh, actually, I want to go longest edge. Uh, we're three meters, so we had a six meter, so we want. Four headwinds. Clockwise, because we want to end up back here. Up, down first. Turn in the corners. Yes. Generate that. Longest edge should be that edge there. So we'll check it. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good, I think. Um, I'm happy with that. If we don't go longest edge, if we go automatic and generate. Actually, that's a slightly better course. I like that more. Okay, so we will go with that course there. Um, that's got four headlands on it. All good. So, uh, yeah. Let's go back. Now, we want the turn to first waypoint is deactivated. First waypoint is where we want to start. What the, uh, pretty much most of them. It's one of the reasons why Greenwich Valley is a good map for this. Uh, is that they are... Um, uh, where's my start point? My start point is down here. Um, uh, means that you can build a farm almost anywhere on this map. And that's, that's the great thing about it. And you can buy one of the cheap small fields and do it as a starting point. You know, there's there's that as well, which is which is really good. Right, so we are at first waypoint. We want to drive it. Seeding barley. Double check barley after sunflowers. Barley after sunflowers. Perfect. Right, so there we go. Jump out of this. 
Uh, and the reason we've done this is because we want to go and uh, we need to get, before we go and uh, subsoil the beet, so that we can plant our sunflowers in there, uh, we want to go and uh, get it spread with some manure. So there's that. Uh, Starting aid means we have to go on for longer. By the way, you tent of our friend. It turns as though. Ooh, okay, definitely want to be doing that. Right, we need to go and turn this tractor around. Take it back. Uh, because we don't want to be doing this. We want to be spreading, side spreading manure on here, I think. Let's take this over here. What's my favourite tractor mod in FS19? Probably these, actually. It's a it's a really simple, basic mod, but yeah, probably these. Put that into the Never mind. Right, let's go get our side spreader and get that done then. have plenty of manure again. Plant winter crops on Sandy Bay, and we're going to change over it. Well, this I need to discuss with you guys, because obviously we want to change over, but it's whether people want to plant winter crops, so they want to plant winter wheat and, uh, and stuff like that, or whether they're quite happy to hold off until the springtime, um, and we can just get through the winter and do that. So... No handbrake on this is my only thing. You must go later, farm boy YT. The 92 viewers in here at the moment. Right, uh, round. Want to, but if we, yeah. I think it's, yeah, it depends on, I don't think it's going to be a massive um, issue to not put any winter crops in. Um, the ones that are going to be difficult are uh, alfalfa and things like that, but people can just replant those come the new year, I think.
Dodgy YouTube channel has awesome Pops Gaming time. Stick at it. The only time you will ever fail at doing YouTube or Twitch is when you stop doing it. Because eventually, you do it for long enough, you will get an audience. There is an audience out there for everyone. Hello, Massey Ferguson, man. Welcome along. Spreading manure in real life. What did you miss? Uh, I have been seeding uh, canola today. I have also seeded... Uh, we're currently seeding barley. We need to spread some manure on the uh, former sugar beet field because we're going to be planting sunflowers in that. Uh, yeah, so we'll have just... After today, we'll have just sunflowers... Uh, what? Sunflowers corn and barley to plant. And we were considering potatoes in here. Uh, was it here or was it on one of the one places I was considering potatoes, but I just can't seem to fit them in. Can't seem to make them work. Hey, Patrick Murray 14, welcome along. So, yeah, it's it's a tough one. I'm not quite sure how to get the potatoes in without doing a field fallow for a year. I think when we expand the farm a bit more and we're able to uh, and we're able to do that, maybe it's worth it. There we go. That is full. We'll leave this here because it's going to take more than one of these. And we've got to go on a trip with the landing. Oh, which means we're going to need to drop the bucket off this as well. Uh, actually, no, we should be alright. Let's hook that back on. We should be alright, but we've got to take the landy up to the shop quickly. Uh, we need more seeds. I think we only need a couple of pallets. But that's still a couple of pallets of seeds that we need. Yeah, the gears do not like the land. Waiting for a Land Rover mod to come into spin tires. Uh, sorry, into SnowRunner, and then I will be all over that. way to do it is to be gradually on the throttle. I think. Yeah, there we go. Later, fiber concrete. Work at midnight. Wow. So yeah, we need to we need to go and get uh, some for this incoming raid from Simulator Hub UK with a party of six. Thank you very very much, Simulator Hub UK. You are awesome. Welcome along, raiders. If you could click the link that I've just put in the chat, that would be very much appreciated. Uh, because we're on a partner push, and every view counts. And, uh, and you can make your view count by clicking that link. All it does is reload the, the uh, reload the stream. Vir uh, VV Viral X Girl VV, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the VFN. Raid! Uh, so I'm going to get two pallets of seeds, I think. I don't think we need any more than that. Based on that, uh, how far those ones are gone hey simulation hub uk how was your stream i hope it was a good one rompy 89 400 welcome along salut les fameurs absolutely Whoops. 
This is not one to... This, the gears on this are horrible. Does not... This mod... The, this um, vehicle mod does not like the Lanty at all. Uh, Rob B, could you do English? Because my... My... <laughs> Um, you play on PS4. Awesome, Rompy. I might, my French is not great, I'm afraid. Um. How, uh. Je. Forgotten what the word for speak is in French. Just started raining in Gloucestershire. Ooh. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't seem to want to change up the gears very easily at the moment. Successfully bought two tickets. Yeah, there you go. Max will buy you as many tickets as you have left if you have the growth. Let's have another raffle. Welcome back, Oliver. Yeah, it doesn't. It really holds at the top until it gets out of the low gears. Which is. Right. So first thing we need to do is take our trailer over to here, get these sides knocked off, because we could. We've got to do that. The farm. There we go. Customize that. Yep. Customize. Bring this round. Okay. And then we'll go and purchase two things of uh, tool, uh, of uh, seeds. There we go. Seeds by... Yes, okay, bye, yes, okay, there we go, jump into this, Heights am I at? Oh wow, I am nowhere near low enough. You can't see. Oh yeah, there I can. Right, there we go. Uh, do not the sides fall down on the trailer. Um, I don't know, to be honest, and I've not tried. <laughs> I prefer transporting it as a flatbed. To, there's a there's a tiny bit that I can see, and I need to have that visible in order to pick it up in the right place. What's the best cedar in the game for small maps? Uh, I think the little Amazons that I'm that I'm using are actually quite good. Uh, they're inexpensive, 
They get the job done pretty well. Right, there we go. Let's park this up. Uh, three minutes left on the giveaway, everybody. Just three minutes. You need to be in here as well, don't forget. That's not bad loading for me, Cab. That really isn't. I'm quite impressed with myself for that one. Right, here we go. Another, yeah, another strap there. Another strap there. Make sure this is well strapped down. There we go. I mean, it's not central by any means, but it is on there. Yeah, there's no way of me forcing it to go up a gear, I don't think. Dude, I, I've never been bored by Pretzel. Pretzel always has a good set of music. I might switch from the happy station to the rock station or something, though. Just to mix it up a little bit. Tomorrow's stream. That might be quite good. I think. Have a good time. It is ten past one in the afternoon. Ideally, I'd like to get the muck spread on this field and uh, and it um, cult uh, and it subsoils today. That would be good. Sort of tops out and doesn't quite hit enough revs. Need the speed, it's not always there. What am I next on SnowRunner? I have a SnowRunner video going up on my uh, YouTube channel tomorrow. In fact, I have two. I have last night's stream, and I've got a uh, the second video in my playthrough. I'm glad to see that people are uh, excited by SnowRunner. I think I think we may have to put a stream to it on here each week. Uh, so um, you like the uh, the music, Eugene? It is cool. It is giveaway time. Let's get this back to here. Um, I'm going to close the giveaway though. Last chance to get your entries in before I close the giveaway. Letting the last couple in. Why, does... Why is it saying 54 elapsed, but the thing is saying it's... Okay. I'm going to refresh that screen. Because that seems behind. Yeah, one hour and 55 seconds. Close the giveaway. Right. We're going to park this just here. Put these seeds on. We're going to select our winner. So, uh, pause this. Switch. 
over to this screen here. There we go. Right. Shall we see who has won today's giveaway, people? Uh, drawing a winner, and it is... <laughs> Rowan Simulations, YT. Congratulations. You are here. Shall we spin the wheel, my friend? See what it is that you have won. Uh, one spinning of oh, one wheel. Here we go. You've run a Wastel Bash CD. You've already had one, haven't you? I'm fairly sure that you've already got a Rostel Mash CD, haven't you? <laughs> it's, I think you might have. Have you, have you already got one, Run? Because I think you have. Now, you can either have two... I need to switch this over because I need to check. Yep, you do. Do you want me to uh, respin and see who else? Then. Shall I respin? Shall I? Do you want me to? to Pick another winner then, Ron. Go re-roll. Okay. Let's draw another winner then. Matt F underscore zero zero. Congratulations. You have won a Russell Mash CD. Which is one of these beautiful CDs. Signed by me if you want, but I will have to take the wrapping off to sign it. Um, let me know. Do. Uh, are you here? Are you here, Matt F? Please be here, Matt F. Is he here? Is he here? He's here! Cool! Right, excellent, Matt. What I will do is I will drop you a whisper. Wait, there we go. Uh, so that goes on the to be sent out pile. Uh... Congratulations on winning a... That is the wrong computer. On winning a limit, limited edition. I have something so mash CD. Uh, please. There we go. Message sent to you. So please respond to that with the details I have requested. Uh, and uh, and we can get it back. You've already, got, you've already got the CD. What? You've already got... Have you... You've already got one of these. Do you, do you want me? I mean, the, the the content, yeah, it's available to everybody. Uh, really? Are you already, I've not got you in my whispers. Interestingly, Matt, which worries me. Do you want me to re-roll and give it to somebody else? Do you? This is taking too long. Re-roll for somebody else. Okay, we'll re-roll for somebody else. Ignore the message I've sent you then, Matt. Let's draw another winner. Sloth Farms! Who is there in the chat? Absolutely, Sloth. You are here. 
<laughs> I can see you. Do you want it? Do you want it, Sluffer? Oh. <laughs> Reaver, you're kidding me. Are you joking? I can't give these things away. Hello, Lee9 Gaming. Are you sure you want me to re-roll, Sloth? Oh. No joking. Okay, good. Right. Let me send you the message I have just sent. Uh, right. Nope. Uh, good. Right, is... Send you this whisper. There we go. Right, Matt, ignore the whisper. There we go. Sloth Farms, I've sent you one. Please, can you, uh, please, can you send, <laughs> get me the details? And I will get it over to you. All right, we're going to switch back to here. I'm going to switch that back to the right computer. Uh, unpause my game. And uh, I need to go and get the tractor, which is over here somewhere. Awesome, thank you. Whew. Is there anyone left? I th I th yeah, I did put on the right. Right, and it's actually stopped in a pretty good place, this. Stop driver. Start. Right. Up. Right. And what we want to do... Wait! <laughs> I actually saw it, but I turned away on purpose. Um, thank you, uh, Greeny345, for playing Jump Scare. And are you home alone? Thank you for subscribing with Twitch Prime. You are awesome. Right, so we'll open up the back. Fill this up. It doesn't take that much. This is why I think two bags of it, two pallets, of this is going to be fine. Uh, especially with our other cedar as well. Uh, actually, we can just go right and let that go. It should go back to where it was. Yep, there we are. Just check that that is still seeding. Barley. Yep, that is still seeding barley, so that's good. You are a later terrier. Thanks for joining us. Stop, Stad. Uh, stop, Stad. Welcome along. Uh, go check out Terrier, guys. He is awesome. Uh, well worth your time. Plays on PS4 mainly, so if you are a PS4 um, farm simmer, then go and check him out. Uh, when to start New Grand Valley Games out and you're back now. Awesome Irish farmer. Uh, I don't know, Rowan. I've got to be careful because I obviously want to spend time with my wife. So, um, yeah. We'll see where we are. Really? There we go. Spade. Pigs are so messy. Yeah, happy wife, happy BF community. Absolutely. It's a balance between the two. What's my favourite tractor in game? Probably... This is, this is the 83. No, the 7840. The other one that's uh, that's currently seen it. You wouldn't have thought there's much difference between them, but I have not driven an 8340, whereas I have driven the 7840. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, the one that's seeding over there is probably my favourite tractor in game at the moment. Drove one of those a lot. Yeah, we've got 54 hours on this one. 55 on the other. I'm loath to leave this series because I'm just enjoying it way too much. What's my least favourite map? 
There's only one map I've ever played and gone, oh my god, what the hell is this thing? Um, and it was a map in FS17, and then I got an awful lot of flack because it was done by a YouTuber, and uh, and the reason why it was so popular uh, was because he basically just sold it to his channel. Right, so... The great thing about this field is that we can come here and side spread and then get the edge. To, uh, we need to solid video this because we are going to be getting this. Um, we're going to subsoil this in a bit. It's going to take a few loads for us to do this field, I think. We should have enough. Uh, could the Abbey come to console? I think 4D is trying to bring it to console, but not as an Abbey, as a um, uh, as a lizard instead. I do love this. Really, really. Both this and the liquid one is really cool. As I said, I do need to switch out the liquid one. But I think that's going to take a game edit, uh, you know, a save edit to do that. So I want to switch it to the new one. 4D is an amazing mod. I, I absolutely love 4D stuff. And, uh, and yeah, I just love playing. Any news on partner? Not yet, Jamie. Incoming raid! Mad Alex33 is raiding with a party of 10. Alex, you are awesome. Welcome along. Welcome, raiders. Um, go check out Mad Alex if you don't mind. A bit of fruity language. He is an awesome uh, streamer here on Twitch. Uh, small streamer, well worth your time. You should have more followers than he has. Um, and raiders, if you would... Could you please click on this link? Um, we are on a partner push and every view counts. Um, so doing that will remove the raid tag and uh, I mean that uh, it all counts towards. Thank you for the follow, Kyle Barkley456. Um, you are well, welcome to the VFN. Bye, TV Games. Hope you've enjoyed the stream. You did want the most PG. Well, that's the thing, yeah. No swearing around it, although I nearly swore very early on. Nearly swore very early on, and it's because I mentioned Epic Games. And it, it that gets me swearing. <laughs> oh, man. Later, Rowan. Thanks for joining us. Oh, we are out of the year. Let's go fill this up. I do need to get a lurker mode sorted. Lurker mode engage. Ooh, fantastic, Alex. I'm going to have to do exactly that. Any news on Dave Brown mod? Not that I've heard, no, unfortunately. I am. I really, really want those mods to appear. I really, really want those mods to appear. Because those would be so much fun. Hello, uh, Bobby King 12. Welcome along. Yeah, that one works. There we go. What would you say... What idea... 
I'm not sure what you're asking there. Bobby King 12, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the BFM. Right, let's turn the tractor off. No point in putting hours on it that we don't need to. Just turn off the interior camera rotation on this. Oh, no. Back to set. Interior case here. Yeah. We don't need it. Mucks up with uh, it mucks all up all of my uh, stuff with this doing that. There we go. Michael Schaefer, welcome along. How are you doing, my friend? Any noobs? Whoa. On um, the Classics DLC, no. Uh, I, modern Classics, I don't have any news on. Um... I don't know what's happening with uh, Matt XJS and that at the moment. I'm good, thank you, Michael. How are you doing? Good night, Greeny2345. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, twins are keeping safe. We're all good from that point of view. Uh, they, uh, they've been a bit naughty the last couple of days, so they've had, um, I've had to, rem I've had to confiscate a couple of their bits, but otherwise. We're all good. I'm gonna have to take this off. I know what's wrong. I've got a heater on in here. Uh, no, I think there's only one Landini mod on FS19. Let's lose this. Oh. Getting used to Twitch. I bet uh, there are more and more people moving over here. I noticed um, Rainbow Dave has come over here now as an affiliate as well. I think Simulate's been doing some um, some Twitch-only streams. I know he's still... Um, uh, I know he's still restreaming, but I think it's only a matter of time before he sees um, people like Dave have success and stuff and, and maybe makes the switch and goes affiliate over here. I think a lot of people are just really hacked off with how difficult it is to stream on uh, on YouTube at the moment. Thanks, Pops Gaming Time. Catch you later. I mean, it's just a pain in the butt to stream on YouTube at the moment. Whereas streaming here is so much easier. It just works. Silver News is going to start streaming on Twitch. Yeah. See, and Silver hasn't been streaming very long on um, on uh, YouTube again. Really, uh, I'm not surprised. He's got he's got Silver Live over here as well, which makes sense with his brand to do a, a, a live channel over here and a news channel over there. So yeah, that makes sense to me. Um, yeah, it it does it does really. I think you're going to see a lot of uh, of of YouTubers coming certainly gaming youtubers more and more i know are, are are coming over here those with big audiences from videos already who tends to be staying um over on uh, youtube all right there we go
Uh, did that? No, uh, I don't have the manure system on here. Uh, we're going to be putting the manure system on because this map isn't ready. It isn't set up for it. We're going to be putting the manure system on Sandy Bay when version 1.1 comes out because Oxy has made that map um, ready for it. Half tempted to see how difficult it would be to prepare this map for um, the manure system. I'd like, I'd like to see what that would involve. Because that would be quite cool. This is the only thing about doing... Um, about doing muck spreading. Is muck spreading takes time. It's why we want to really do it uh, in the autumn or the winter if we can. Um, doing it in early spring uh, once the ground thaws... It's just a little bit, yeah. There we go. We were on our way back with this, uh, this vehicle, so we'll head back down the field and uh, start the row again. Uh, yeah, on Sandy Bay tomorrow, uh, did console get seasons yet? Yes, console has seasons. It's had it for a little while. Because we've been, uh, we were doing, con um, we were doing seasons on Wealth, on Wealth Farm and, uh, and, uh, Green, oh. The Dutch map that I can never remember the name of because it's green something. I'd love grazing on Greenwich Valley. Yeah, it's great. I think there's grazing on here because it's season ready. So it surprised me if it is. Thank you, Goldie. Yeah, Green River we, uh, we used on. Why do I think Seasons was a base game? Uh, I know why Seasons was a base game. They couldn't get it in in time. I know they tried and uh, it broke the... The, the explanation I was told was that uh, they tried to put it in with, into FS19 um, and it basically broke the game um, at the time and it just, yeah. it, it wasn't, the game wasn't going to take it. So it would have taken too much development um, to get it in in time. Uh, so that's, and that's why Seasons came out nearly a year uh, later. Like the raffles on Twitch. Let's have another raffle. Because we've got, uh, we, we're still doing the giveaways. We gave away, um, uh, we gave away another CD in this stream. Although it took a little bit of time.
have plenty of in your thank you. Thank you for following little midget man. We we are out of that. Great demand at the bomb. That will be for um for Talking to Dagwin about Twitch, I think he's gonna try it out one day, but he likes YouTube. Uh, I'm still more YouTube, find it easier to moderate. Uh, there's a whole light, nice, you should try out the moderators panel on here, Michael. It's the, I love the new moderator panel on here. Much, much nicer than the, uh, the basic controls that I get on, uh, for YouTube when moderating. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Um, you know, Dagwin can easily get a large audience on YouTube because he has the number of followers on YouTube. Uh, uh, number of subscribers on YouTube. Every Yeah, it's everything in one place, which is just absolutely great. What's my favorite small tractor? David Brown, 1210. That one. It is a small tractor by today's standards. Ooh, that almost wasn't in there. And about time you... Yeah! <laughs> I did notice your raid. He would get partner over here fairly quickly. I think if he did. I got quite, quite a bit of money towards I have, but we do we should really be paying off our loan with it. The only reason I haven't is because um, I know I need to buy a few things as we start the year. Uh, so yeah, we should really be paying off our loan with this. Uh, we want to buy a field is what it says. Spent for... Ouch, Michael. Ow. For what? What? Internet connection out? Or mobile phone issues? Or what was that? Five hours. Sheesh. Uh, will you buy a tractor and what one will I get? No, I'm planning on buying a field. We want field 98. Uh, we're going to put... I think we were actually... I think we were actually talking about putting potatoes in it as an experiment. Uh, DJ, uh, I, I don't think DJ has any plans to come over here. Uh, DJ uh, does very well, mainly f with his videos over on uh, on YouTube. So I don't think he'll come over here. Would he do Twitter? I don't. Uh, yeah, DJ does Twitter. So I don't know about him doing Twitch, but yes, yeah, certainly he has a Twitter. Upgrading phones. Want to change your phone plan? They change your plan to your dad's number. And oh, really? Oh, wow. That is insane, Michael. That's why I always do my upgrades. I do, I end up doing my upgrades uh, through Carphone Warehouse normally. Uh, do I think David Brown could be base game next game? No chance. David Brown as a company still exists in the UK. They make engineering parts. Um, so the David Brown name is still owned by somebody other than Case. So you will never see David Brown as a base thing in this. I did see um, what uh, Peter J is modding. Uh, it looks very interesting. DJ prefers YouTube streaming as he can stream higher quality. And no. <laughs> if, he's, if, he, if DJ's thinking like that, I need to correct him. Because, no, you can't stream higher quality on YouTube than Twitch. It's part of the reason I switched. Is because the quality on Twitch is so much better than YouTube. 
Haven't sent you a Yeah, I bet that will go well. I bet that will go awesome. There we go. Do I think Giants... I don't think they'll go for the licensing for David Brown. There's nothing in it for David Brown, the company. So, uh, yeah, I don't think they'll go for the licensing. Uh, yes. Yeah, he's making a condom in your You get more views on YouTube? Um, yes and no is the interesting thing, Cheap Farmer at 96. I, yes, I get more views, but it's not as... It was it was not helping the channel. The, the amazing thing was streaming on YouTube was not helping the channel. That is that is the nuts thing about it. We were getting yes more uh, viewers uh, at a time over there, but it, it, honestly, it was not helping the channel at all. Uh, I've seen better growth on the channel the last few days since we stopped streaming on there than um, uh, than. Uh, when we were Charlie uh, 2011 welcome along and that and that is the crazy thing about it uh, that that is what I find but actually fairly steady not straight And I think it's a, a platform thing. I think YouTube actually is great for videos. Twitch is better for, for streaming. Could Connor Brand come to console? Unlikely it's not a base game um, brand. As, uh, there be, need to be some sort of licensing agreement with Giants uh, in order for that to come to console. They don't tend to go for small brand licensing agreements like that. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get this field subsort today, unfortunately. I think that's going to be something we're going to do early on the next time. We've got to feed the pigs today as well. So, yeah. Although the pigs might be alright going into the next day. They have got a fair amount of food in their bed. Later Gaming M17. Thank you very much. Do I think that Ford tractors and vehicles could be in the next base game? No, same reason as David Brown. Would be unlikely to get the license, exactly. Ford have no interest in uh, promoting their tractors. Or what used to be their tractors. So they're not going to do it. Surely the brand of the machine can be seen as advertising. Ah, uh, yeah, but Ford don't do tractors. That's that's the thing, Charlie. Um, it's advertising for Ford tractors. Hello, Charlie Sim. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Hello, Charlie Sim. Welcome along. You know, it's an it's an advert for a specific tractor, and if Ford aren't making these tractors or selling these tractors anymore, then it doesn't mean. Oh, Connor Spreaders, yes. If Connor Spreaders, if Giants gets a license from Connor Spreaders, and that's the thing, Giants would need to get the license in order to pull it in. 
And it's not a, it's not a, a thing of cost or anything because they don't pay for any of the licenses. Um, it's it's a thing of you know they just the, it's normally a case actually of the company approaching giants and going we want our implements in the game can you put them in and with the smaller stuff giants doesn't always have the time or the ability so peter does try and get his mod on console a mod on console but it may be the same as 4d does in that it would be a lizard branded um side spreader rather than um, the actual Connor brand. Uh, would you think it's a good idea categorizing the mod selection and the loading save menu? Uh, yes, please. Or a search. The number of times that I've wanted to enable a specific mod and trying to find it in the list of mods sometimes is such a pain. So a, 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 a search in the actual mods, that's brilliant. And that's a great addition that Giants did for FS19. I want to search when I'm enabling mods. Because if I want to enable a new mod, it's not that easy. Can manual attach come to console? Um, yeah, no. I don't think so in FS19. As something that you could do, because um, it's a scripting mod, so it's it's not something that, that can, can come to console at the moment. You could put it as an option in game, because it doesn't require any extra buttons or anything. Is there a Brian Bale trailer on the scene? Uh, yes, there is. Uh, and 4D did exactly that. He uh, he got it as a lizard trailer on console, and as a Brohan trailer on PC. Thank you for the follow, Deck 1501. Welcome to the BFM. All right, let's. Uh... Thank you for the follow, Stephen Dean 86. Welcome to the VFN. Oh, I wonder if there's. I don't think we've got an 18. I'm just wondering. Just because I'm idly wondering. Front loaders. Seven. No, that's tiny. No, we don't have one. So that's the same size as the one we've got here. Yeah, I'd need to add in a mod. I'm considering um, upgrading to the Scorpion uh, from this. Because I think the Scorpion would be quite a cool piece of kit to have on here. Well, don't get me wrong, this little piece of kit does us wonderfully. But it would be quite uh, useful to have a Scorpion for when we're doing the, um, the loading up at the uh, thing. Uh, Massey, uh, 7726, thank you for the follow. Welcome along. Going well, thank you. We are currently spreading muck on our sugar beet field. So that when we uh, cultivate that in, uh, sorry, when we subsoil it in, uh, that will then be fertilised. Uh, we try to get things fertilised early doors around here. Steve's Mods, welcome along. Hope JCB Telehandler comes out on consoles. Yeah, that would be awesome. Do I plow much? Um, not really. I tend to prefer the, uh, the subsoilers because they're that little bit wider than the plow. So it does the job a little bit quicker. Our cedar is down to 20% on its barley. That is almost going to be finished that job for the day. Yeah, we're going to be putting sunflowers in next time in this field. So this is why we're trying to get the muck spread in there. Or the, the muck spread on this field today. Uh, because we can't really get the... Um, 
sunflowers in unless we've sorted the uh, this bit. By the way, it's can't control slow mode, and that would be. Uh, well, that's, uh, yeah. I know moderators. Well, that might be an option that I can enable. That's the thing, Michael. Um, I didn't know that um, moderators could do that in YouTube, to be honest. On a JCB. Yeah. Yes, that would be cool. Close that. Yo. Learn to maneuver. The other way to do this is to fill a trailer and uh, and take it down to the field and run this on course play. Will modern classics come to console? I think. Uh, yeah, I think that um, Matt was was aiming to get his console this time. So uh, yeah, quite possibly. Seems I might know. Seems I can. I think it's not. Yeah. I've never tried it. I did find out today that there is a button that I can add to the stream deck to enable slow mode. So, uh, yeah, I might look at that as well. I think I might move my shout outs as well because I tend to try and get at those from this the screen that I'm currently on on my stream deck uh, and it would be great to have those in the subfolder I think and then I worry less about stopping the recording I have a screenshot for it. okay cool thank you Michael I'm just, uh, uh, will that Red Rock trailer on Gross Farm come to console again if it comes to console it will come to console as a lizard uh, that Red Rock trailer is nice did you miss it? You did miss the giveaway, Liam Lee. Round. So it looks like this is the job we're going to finish off today. As I said, I want to give some I don't know if, actually, I don't know if we have anything for our picks. That's a good question. I want a 6 to, uh, 5 to 6 of the Arctic. Uh, okay, yeah. Right, today, used to have a DB. Oh, nice, Charlie. He's a very nice tractor. He had taste. Bye back to the later, Steve. Thanks for joining us. Uh, where are I? Thank you all 108 people watching. You are all awesome. You are helping us achieve great things. Uh, we'll always keep pigs on Reddit Rally. Will, will I always keep pigs on Reddit Rally? Or is it always wise to keep pigs on Reddit Rally in general? Uh, so sorting out your deed. Oh, that's all right then. got a good amount of this field done this time. We need to, so next time we need to get this field subsoiled. We might take the other tractor next time and start doing, um, uh, start doing the uh, spreading, uh, manure spreading on the uh, corn field. Oh, wow, I missed a bit. Uh, will I always have, uh, at the moment that's the plan, uh, my farm is, you know, all based around the pig fields, uh, the pig farms, so that's, that's kind of my plan. Uh, we might eventually venture out to cows, if we do, we'll probably build them in that field there, I think. Um, either that or an 87 and expand the farm out that way. Uh, we will have to see. But it would become a much bigger farm if we move on to cows. And it would be a very long-term thing if we do that. 
that would be okay. I'm going to be on here for at least another two years because it'll take that long for us to, to get anywhere near making that kind of thing. The Simulator Radio on Spotify? I don't know, actually. If you go to simulatorradio.com, it should tell you. I'd suggest something to me. I'd suggest a way, Liam. Yeah, you seem to put cows in here somewhere. Well, I end up buying a new tractor. On eventually, as the farm expands, we will need another tractor. Um, when we buy it, I don't know. But at the moment, we're doing okay. We're not in a position where we've got so many jobs to do that we um, we're starved for a tractor to do it. So uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not too worried about a new tractor at the moment. We may eventually have to get a new tractor just to replace uh, the ones we've got, of course. Because they are up to 50 hours. More likely is that we replace this with something more um, uh, that we can uh, use up at the BGA rather than here. So that avoids us be having to uh, hire something every time we want to uh, make money from silage. May I suggest you should do a few contracts when you get time. Yep, absolutely. We will be doing contracts on here. Red Flannel Farms, welcome along. I'm doing well, thank you. Oh, there we go. Come on. There we are. Yeah, this is the manual mode. A little bit of a leak down this side. I think it's commands rather than com oh, it yeah. might be command. Yeah, it might be commands, and I've left the S off. I was thinking the long run you should get sheep because wool is a good source of money. Oh, so horses, horses are a great source of money in seasons, especially if you have the uh, global company mod on. If you get cows, then you should upgrade to a telehandler. Yeah, I think we might end up doing that anyway. We started to get grass fields. Um, but we would need to, um, yeah, we'd need to work out how the, the farm is going to change if we did that. How many trophies do I have on FS19? What, how many, um, uh, achievements do I have? Uh, 17, I think. That's a nice right. Thank you. I do like that. I do like this 8340. I like the 7840 more, but I do like the 8840. There was a tractor. There was a a, a a 10 series mod that came out in the last couple of weeks. And I thought, oh, if that's nice, I'll be able to grab that and use that. And it's cheap and we can have it on here and add another tractor. Oh, God, was it horrible. Why, why is there not a nice 10 series tractor on Farm Sim? I miss a nice 10 series. Slimu one welcome along. And Hardline Prince, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the VFM. Right, there we go. 103 people in here at the moment. I am very thankful for every single one of you in here. Thank you so much for joining us. You have all the achievements. DM me. I have one. Okay. Play on FSI so I can't access your garage. Don't know. Lee Simo, thank you for the 10-bit cheer. You are awesome. Thank you very, very much. Right, this should top this off. 
Okay, there we go. Evening, Ortho. How are you doing, my friend? Hope things is going well. West Newton. Um, I think so. If you want the Series 10 Ford, I can get it up there. Oh, it's Series 10 Ford. I don't tend... If it's, if it's really nice, I'll use it, Liam. Um, if um, uh, it's the only time I go, that's a private mod, I want to use it. Which is why I have the Landy that I have on here. Just finished Spitboard Lands. Ah, cool. Do you know what I've been playing off like? I've been playing Sid Meier's Beyond Earth. Absolutely cracking game, that. It's... Oh, uh, the 68... No, the 6810 I've got. Unless... Matt has done it. Matt hasn't done a 70 or an 80. Yeah, saw that pop up. Yeah, it's a cracking... I think I've actually cracked how to play it. Let's just say, ooh, okay. I'd like to look at that, then. Yeah, I keep meaning to try Stellaris. What's the mod for RPM? Um, there isn't a mod for RPM that I'm running at the moment. Because I stopped using the enhanced people. So, this will get this finished today. Hello, Tiny T2806. Welcome along. Uh, 10. Okay, cool. Thank you, Liam. Yeah, drop us drop us a, a message on Discord because I'd love to get a 7810 on here. Especially, it doesn't have a front loader on it. We might, I might switch the, um, the bit for the, for the front loaded 7810 on here. Yes, please. Good old crossplay, yeah. I love crossplay. I know Stockholm uses it a lot as well. But oh, for karting, it can be a real pain as well. Right, close this up. The decent 10 series, yeah. Well, the, the 7810 I had in um, 17 wasn't too bad. It could have done with a little more work to finish it off. Love the TM. Yeah, there's a there's a half there's a couple of half decent TMs in there, but it's it's the earlier the the 7810 I really really like. Them. Nope, you missed a bit. Currently seated with barley. Can I recommend a good map to pay for Xbox One? Um, yes, yeah, several. Uh, are you looking to play with or without seasons? Still got a fair amount of field to go. Uh, both. Um, with seasons, uh, this is Island, I think, is a cracking map. Uh, without Seasons, Oakfield Farm is also a cracking name. Um, yeah. Uh, trying to think of what other maps are great. Greenwich is absolutely fantastic. Um, oh, what else? I'm trying to think. Growers isn't out on console. Uh, oh, Shamrock Valley is a cracking map as well. That's out on console too. Not 
Nazi boys changing this is this is island is an awesome map. County line, yeah, but county line isn't available on console. Uh, it's a nice map. I had I had problems with it. I think it's been updated since I did my first look. I had problems with it because uh, there were various little niggles. Marwell, fantastic map on console. Yeah. Uh, Meadowgrove is an awesome map. My, my issue with Meadowgrove on console is console is it's great when you've got some field goals. Mar uh, and Meadowgrove does not have to do something. Which is why I was trying to think hard. Dark Star Simulation, thank you for the 50 bit cheer. You are awesome. Very, very much. The field is getting thinner at this point. Which is good news because it's going to take less manure to get this done. Nice thing about springtime. Springtime stuff is that we get a little bit more sunshine. Allows us to work for that little bit longer. I think we need to get some feed in for the pigs. That's another reason actually that we kept the um, kept the money. Because we want to make sure that we have enough to uh, get pig feed. Peterville. Peterville's great again for not season. Yeah, Tom Bemberton Farm would be great. Tiny T2806, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the VFN. We had to work out who we're going to raid soon as well. I went fairly late last night, so I ended up getting a raid from Scuba last night, which was awesome. Uh, a bit right at the end when I was uh, when I was finishing up, but uh, still very nice to get a rate from Scuba. So a huge thank you to him last night. Actually, I'm going to give Scuba a shout out because he did he did give me that very nice raid last night. Uh, look, I can't do it at the moment. Drat! I need to get Scuba added to my raids. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some work with that. Oh, the sun is beginning to set. You can see it's becoming a little bit harder to see stuff. We turn the lights on, we, we're adding a little bit more, so yeah. Uh, with next generation consoles, will there be PC mods or not for FS19? Um, when, well, when the next version of the game comes out, there'll still be FS19 mods. You'll just... They just probably won't release them via the mod hub going forward. So you'll still have them in the mod hub. You'll still be able to connect to them. Um, but, uh, yeah, you'll get fewer... You won't get any... It's like you don't get any new FS17 mods in the mod hub at the moment. And why Bullet Bill released his uh, his map on the uh, on there. Yeah, how to become a successful streamer YouTuber. Uh, yeah, Tiny T, keep at it. Um, that is the biggest piece of advice I've got for you. Is keep at it, keep going. Um, two other things that I would suggest. Um, one, uh, be prepared for an awful lot of hard work. So whatever you choose, you are going to be doing it whether you want to do it or not. And that is something that people forget doing this. I have made videos and done streams with a great big smile on my face on a day when I really, really don't feel like it. When you, when you, and that's that's the difference between a job and a hobby, is that when you when when you have to do something even when you don't want to, that's a job. And uh, and yeah, I've had to do that. So lots of hard work, lots of being prepared to make those kind of sacrifices um the other thing is go and watch there are a ton of people out there who will give you great advice for getting started there are people i watch even now so for example um 
uh, I watch a guy on YouTube uh, called Harris Heller, who does uh, a channel called Alpha Gaming, does a massive amount of information for streamers um, who, who want to make it on Twitch. Uh, and really useful stuff, stuff that you might not think about. And it's the same for YouTube. Um, there are a ton of people out there who um, give out free advice. Uh, we will finish by... Ele well, we're going to finish this field, basically. It's going to be around about 11 o'clock. So go check that. The one thing I would recommend not doing is paying someone for the advice on how to make it. Uh, don't pay for it. Absolutely not. Use the free, uh, use the free stuff. Um, but yeah, and I do most of uh, probably the recording and everything I do is maybe actually yeah, actually playing the game is maybe forty percent of what I do. I spend a lot of time editing and uh, promoting and researching and yeah, designing. It's just much more to it than that. Even if you're on Twitch, even if you're you're trying to make it as a streamer on Twitch, I would still say you need a Twitter, you need a YouTube channel, you need um, or a Facebook or some way of getting yourself out there. Because if you don't have any of those things, it's really really difficult to do it. Um, I'm, uh, is YouTube and streaming my full time job? It isn't. I would love it to be. I absolutely would love it to be. It's not. Uh, that's the other thing. You are, if you are in it for the money, not gonna happen. Definitely not gonna happen. <laughs> because you will get, you will get bored and frustrated and annoyed so quickly. And uh, oh yeah, and the other thing. The other thing is, don't compare yourself to other streamers and or, or video creators. That way leads to madness. The only person you are competing against is yourself. At the end of the day. You're much better off making yourself part of uh, your community. Uh, community. Um, Snapchat, I don't know enough about. Why is my full-time job? I am a web developer. I build websites, which actually helps me doing this game and, and doing Twitch and YouTube more than anything, I would say. Um, thankfully, because uh, it means that I have, I've had previous exposure to uh, Adobe Premiere, which I edited. I've had previous exposure to Adobe After Effects, which is what all of my scene transitions and my alerts and all of that is now built in is uh, Adobe, uh, Adobe After Effects. Um, when lockdown hit and I had a little bit of extra time on my hands, I... Uh... Thank you, Tiny. Quite a hand. Yeah, it is quite useful. And, and for the game, I'm, um, I'm uh, an XML expert, so... That helps a lot as well. It means I can edit uh, mods and things really easily, and I know and I know what all the XML and everything for editing the game and things. Are. So it's yeah, it's all quite useful for doing this. But those are those are skills you can pick up. You know, those are skills. Again, there are a hundred and one free uh, After Effects tutorials on on. YouTube. Someone, uh, could I make a raid suggestion to someone you I know well? Ah, uh, you can. Do you want to? Do you want to whisper it to me, Trance? Just so, just so, if I don't go there, it's it's not all over the street. Is the only thing I would say. There we go. So that is that tractor finished for the day. Let's turn off that. Doing 20, what, 21 day? Wow. A 
Okay, we're gonna leave this on here and park it up. Shit. Down, lights off. And I'm gonna turn the light on in the shed because we're gonna need that before the end of this. Yeah, it's over here. Yeah, sun is getting low. We need to get this job finished. It's all the other trouble is, of course, it's now going to get harder and harder to see where we are. I think I'm starting at the other end. Harder to see where we are um, doing this, but we only have this little corner to do. And then we're going to see if we've got, see how the pigs are. If can top up them uh, top them up with a bit of feedback basically I've had to pull in there like what work lights are actually really useful for this what's the bit thing in chat that is bits are a way of donating to the channel so you buy bits from twitch and then you can donate them to um, Donate to the channel that way. I actually quite like it because it sort of gives a, a standard idea to the streamer of, uh, of what's being donated. This percent. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah, we could do that, maybe. Yeah, massive support from this channel. Trance, are they PG? Is my big question. They're not PG, so it would have to come with a, uh, a language warning. PG, I'm PG, Wonder Socks. That's all right. It's not a requirement. It's not a requirement to subscribe or donate or anything on this channel. I just hope that you enjoy. No, no, don't tell them. I just need to know if they are. Because I haven't checked out their streams yet. Right, so that is this field done. Um, I'm not going to put this smelly trailer in here. We are going to be using this next time though. So I want to just... Uh, yeah. I'm just going to park it in front of the Abbey here. Don't think it's going to rain overnight. Let's just check our weather. No, we're pretty clear right up to a couple of days time. So that's good news. Uh, would you know, could a John Deere 7810 come to console? Yes, if a modder um, submitted it to console, absolutely. Actually, I don't think you guys can hear what's going on on my desktop. Really? Uh, we're only leaving it overnight.
I don't. <laughs> You're telling it. I, I don't think you guys can hear this. Can, can you hear the other stream? No, I don't think you guys can hear the other stream. Okay. No, good. Right, I can leave that on and listen to him for a minute then. Right. Good. Right, uh, so that is that job done. That's that job done. We need... You can hear it. Okay. I need to turn that off just in case. Only messing. Don't mess with me. That was important because he could have sworn. And <laughs> I didn't want that to. Right, so, uh, we want to get the landy back as well. Okay. Landy back. Better safe than sorry, yeah. It looks fun, and it's something that you guys have been asking for all night, so... Uh... Also, why am I not following that channel? Right. Uh, I'm just going to stick the trailer in this shed overnight. Normally where we store our trailer, but that will do overnight because we're going to be using cedar stuff. But yeah, it really will. It's off. It's off. There we go. And then we just need to empty out any manure in this and give this a clean. We also can't empty out that manure spreader, so. Later, Tiny T, thanks for joining us. Why does Lani... I don't know. It's it's something to do with my... I need to have a fiddle, I think, with the gear set up on it in here. Because it's... Yeah, it's not... It's not doing well. Uh, we need to clean this out because obviously if we're going to do pink feet with this, uh, then uh, there's that. that we need to clean it. We need to clean out the manure. What map am I playing? This is Greenwich Valley that we're playing at the moment. There we go. Let's clean that off. And now I find out I have no PC. Use gearbox in my tractors? No. Um, but it does have... So this mod here, this is the advanced steering one. It does have a gearing setup. 
so and this is I think this is per vehicle or this might be so it's yeah yeah so that's the standard and then this is per vehicle so uh, yeah I need to work out what works for the Land Rover where am I uh, where am I on the map I am in the pits so Why do I still have sunflowers? <gasps> no! Okay, we're going to feed them sunflowers. Until we, yeah, until we can get some food in, we're going to feed them sunflowers. Right. They will be happy with that. We can give them some sunflowers. And we can give them some uh, barley. Just to keep them stocked up overnight. And make sure that when we buy pig food next time, we're good. Yeah, you can do different um, transmission setups in the... In, uh, in Advanced vehicle control. Yeah, I think it's advanced vehicle control. Right. Yeah, we've got a lot of sunflowers. We need to sell them next time. And we'll put some barley in for them as well. It's not a perfect mix. We could do with some corn, but uh, we don't have any of that. So. Let's check our pigs. Will that that will get them through the night? That's good. Uh, chickens could do with a thing of barley as well. Feed triggers are a little bit unrealistic. Uh, do I ever try using the gears? No. Most modern tractors have automatic gear ranges anyway. Uh, yeah, more barley for them as well. Yeah, feed triggers are a bit of a pain. Right, and that's it. Back off a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Happy with that. We'll move though that egg pallet next time. Even at yeah, exactly. Yeah, in fact, I'm fairly sure the ones we're using here had uh, high rate. High and low range, as, as I remember. There we go. Right. So there. I think this still has its lights on. Yes, it does. There we go. So close that up. Uh, we'll go and close this gate. And that is it. Half past seven in the evening. Uh, and we are all done on the farm for today. So we're going to hit that save. Because we always hit that save. And I'm going to hit it again. Yep. Right. And, uh, and yeah. Hit the pause. Pop out. To this screen here so that I can say a few thank yous that I have uh, let's see what was that oh right um, I have a few thank yous to say so thank you to Dark Star Simulation for your cheer to Lee Semo for your cheer um, to uh, Mad Alex Gaming 33 for your raid thank you very very much um, thank you, Simulation Hub UK, for your raid. Uh, thank you to um, the Fisher J for your cheers. Um, Stocker Glaws, thank you for your cheers as well. Uh, and uh, Bailey Shaw, 20, thank you for the host. Right at the end here. Um, we are going to leave it here. We will be back tomorrow evening from 8.30 at the latest. We might go a little bit earlier if we can. But we'll see where we are. Um, 
Because there's a lot to do on uh, Sandy Bay tomorrow night on the MP. So hopefully you can join me for that. Um, as always, there are videos on YouTube uh, tomorrow. Uh, first thing in the morning will be yesterday's stream from here. Uh, and then in the uh, in the afternoon will be a the second uh, snow runner uh, stream. Oh, uh, sorry, second snow runner video. So go check that out. Uh, we are going to go and raid a channel. I'm just yeah. The person I want to raid uh, is not somebody I am subscribed to. Um, it is somebody that uh, who is a massive supporter of the channel. So go give him some love. Fruity language warning because I have uh, I've not watched a huge amount of his stuff. Thank you for following Officer Matrix and Aurora 900. Uh, so yeah, go check him out. His name is Phoenix3081. You might recognize him from the multiplayer. Absolutely huge supporter of the channel. So go show Phoenix some love. Um, because, uh, yeah, let's let's throw as many of us in there. He's got six viewers at the moment. Let's let's throw him up really high because that would just be awesome. Um, but I'm going to leave it here. I will see you tomorrow at some point, probably uh, at 8, 8.30 on here or over on YouTube in the, earlier in the day. For now, though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this live stream. Um, please, uh, if you're not following yet here on Twitch, hit that follow button if you are watching the VOD on YouTube please uh, give us a like drop us a comment give it a share and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell and I will see you next time goodbye